Instagram, online social media platform and social network service for photograph and video sharing, was launched in 2010 by co-founders Kevin Systrom and Mike Krieger, and it is now owned by Meta Platforms, Inc., the parent company of Facebook. One of the biggest social media platforms in the world, Instagram surpassed 2 billion monthly active users in 2022. Instagram originated with Stanford graduate Kevin Systrom, who had previously worked at Google. Systrom secured venture funding and went on to recruit fellow Stanford graduate Mike Krieger, who had worked on the social media platform Mebo. They reworked the concept to focus on photographs taken on mobile devices and renamed Instagram. Systrom graduated from Stanford University with a degree in management science and engineering. He started his career as an intern at Odeo, which later became Twitter. Systrom then worked on various consumer teams at Google and in quantitative marketing. Systrom and Mike Krieger created Instagram, and within a few years the app had hundreds of millions of users. After launching Instagram together in 2010, Systrom and Krieger sold the app to Meta for $1 billion in 2012. The pair left Instagram in 2018, with reports at the time suggesting the departure was due to tensions with CEO Mark Zuckerberg over the app's direction and a desire to further incorporate it into Facebook. More than four years after Instagram's founders left the company, they're back with a new app. In January 2023, Systrom launched Artifact, a personalized news and content reading application driven by the latest advances in machine learning. Systrom was passionate about the next chapter of social media being driven by artificial intelligence, and it has dedicated the last few years to building this company. The launch comes at a time of renewed activity in the social media world, in the wake of upheaval and uncertainty at Twitter under new owner Elon Musk, a number of newer services have found traction helping users get news and personal updates in a feed. Meanwhile, TikTok's rapid rise continues to push numerous apps, including Instagram, to copy its features. Platformer described Artifact as TikTok for text and possibly even a surprise attack on Twitter. Instagram co-founder Kevin Systrom said that he is not happy with the evolution of the photo sharing app to a marketplace. He said, I think we've lost the soul of what made Instagram. Instagram, Systrom said earlier he used to go to. Instagram to see what his friends and family were up to, but now it has turned into a business apparatus as creators and brands use the platform to make money. My biggest regret, I think, at Instagram is how commercial it got, he added. Systrom has opened up about his feelings regarding the app almost a decade after selling it to Mark Zuckerberg's meta, formerly Facebook. So why did Kevin Systrom sell Instagram to Facebook? What was his plan for the future of Instagram? While the exact reasons for the sale have not been publicly disclosed, it is believed that Systrom and his co-founder, Mike Krieger, sold Instagram in part to capitalize on its explosive growth and to secure its future as a leading social media platform. At the time of the sale, Instagram had 30 million users and it was growing at an unprecedented rate. Systrom and Krieger recognized that they would need significant resources to continue to scale the platform and to compete with other social media giants like Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. Systrom has stated that he and Krieger were not looking to sell Instagram when they started the company, but they ultimately decided to sell because they believed that Facebook would be the best partner to help Instagram reach its full potential. As for Systrom's plans for the future of Instagram, he has stated that he wanted to continue to grow the platform and to build new features that would help users connect with each other in new and innovative ways. The duo launched Artifact believing they can build a competitor that challenges Elon Musk's Twitter and tackle the spread of misinformation online. It is an app that uses artificial intelligence to aggregate news and lifestyle articles that users are likely to be interested in while avoiding so-called filter bubbles by also promoting content that may challenge previously held views. Still, the recent travails of Twitter show the difficulties faced by all social media businesses, which have struggled as spending on advertising declines. Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, Snapchat and YouTube owner Alphabet have dismissed thousands of staff in recent months. Citing a depressed economic environment, Systrom is undaunted by these headwinds. He and Krieger have declined to take outside investment and have self-funded Artifact by spending single-digit millions to build the platform over the past two years. The group is based in San Francisco and has just seven employees. This has meant Artifact has avoided the funding crunch that has hit Silicon Valley as venture capital investors resist taking risky bets on cash-burning startups. Artifact uses machine learning to scan a curated list of publishers' websites, ranging from news organizations including the New York Times, Vogue, and the Financial Times, 
as well as smaller blogs about specialist interests. The more you use the product, the more the algorithm becomes personalized. Users will eventually be able to follow other users and message friends privately as part of new features being tested. The platform may display personalized advertising in future to those users who wish to access content for free, but it is also exploring paid-for options, such as subscriptions and deals with established publishers, Systrom said. Artifact will remain a curated collection of approved sources rather than a fully social platform as the co-founders want to ensure high-quality news and information. The company screens websites through a media bias and fact-checking process before approving them. The algorithm will occasionally deliver content that a user may not agree with, however. The startup also jumps on the hype for AI that is building in Silicon Valley, fueled by rapid development in text-based language models such as OpenAI's ChatGD.